Hello everyone, we are on to lesson 4 now and from this lesson onward, we will start introducing you to the concepts of object oriented programming. So starting off with classes and objects. Java combines the data and instructions into objects which have a state and behavior. In Java, you can represent any tangible or non-tangible real world entity as object, for example, cars, humans, library system, etc. If we consider a dog, let's say, then all its physical properties define the state of the object, like name, breed, color, and the things that it can do become the behavior of the object, like barking, wagging the tail, running. And a class is simply put the blueprint that defines all these states and properties the object can have. So object is simply put the instance or result of a class. And a class can have multiple objects. The syntax for defining a class is fairly simple. The class keyword followed by the class name and within the curly braces we list down all the fields that is state and the method that is behavior. Now if you have to create an object of this class, we use the new keyword and the syntax is as shown. We'll see in more detail how classes and objects work in the solve problem section of this lesson and I'll see you in the next video.